Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Whatever time it is in your geographical location, you are welcome to the short word for today's audio daily devotion. Dear Lord, thank you for taking care of me. I know that you care about every aspect of my life. Lord, please guide me in my daily actions with your loving care. Keep me in your presence and don't let me be separated from you. In Jesus' name, Amen. Today is Wednesday, the 11th of November, 2020. The short word title for the week is God's Mind of Care, Part 4 of 7, written by Jefferson Otambara Ingbi. The short word for today's quotation of the week is God is my source. The Bible verse for the week is taken from the book of 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 6 and 7, reading from the King James Version. Here is the Bible quotation. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. End of Bible reading. The bush was on fire, but it was not burning. Moses saw this unusual and baffling sight on Mount Horeb, while tending his father-in-law Jethro's sheep in the land of Midian. Moses went over to the burning bush to investigate, and he heard my voice calling out to him, I have tried to attract his attention many times, but he was too busy to recognize me because at the time he knew I exist, but he does not have a personal relationship with me. The moment he paid attention, I explained that I have seen how my children are being treated. I have come down from heaven to rescue them from their bondage, and I have picked Moses to lead the crusade. Moses was terrified. He told me he was not capable of such a huge undertaking. I assured Moses that I would be with him. At that point, Moses asked me about my name, so he could tell the Israelites who sent him to bring them out of bondage. I replied, I am who I am. This is what you are going to say to the Israelites. I am has sent me to you. Moses started complaining about how he cannot speak because of his speech impediment. I spoke to Moses, and I speak the same word to you. This is for people like you that used to complain and say, Lord, why is this happening to me? You need to stop tripping and understand who I am. I am that I am. You need to understand that I am all, and in me, all things exist. You need to understand that time will stand still. When I say time stands still because I am time, All the stuff you are telling me right now, I already know. I knew it before you were born. I knew it before your mother and father decided to get together. What I want you to know is that I am the great I am. I am everything you need. So when you get into your situation, just remember everything you need, I am. Make the following affirmation after me. I am a person of integrity with a right attitude and specific goals. I have high energy. I am enthusiastic and I take absolute pride in my appearance and what I do. I have a sense of humor. Loss of faith wisdom, and the vision, empathy and courage to use my talents effectively. I have discovered in me the many deposits of talent, and I am valuable in all walks of life. I have character, and I am knowledgeable. My convictions are strong and I have a healthy self-image, a passion for what is right and a solid hope for the future. This is the end of part four of the Sure Word audio devotion series titled God's Mind of Care. 